Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this system. Uh, I know I need to hook it up to be automated eventually. Uh, I have a big plan that I'm not going to do any automating until I get to this one point that I'm getting at, which is space. Uh, I can let y'all know that I'm planning on building a space station that will take care of all of the automation for us. Uh, but the surprise is uh, what the space station is going to be. It's That's the surprise. So as soon as I get to space, that's when I'm going to be able to... Uh, knock out all the uh, all the automation because then I'll have a new backbone system to what I'm doing and uh, that'll it'll just make everything a lot easier I don't want to have to touch these machines multiple times the reason why this is backing up is because it's going into the ender pouch and it's uh, not sorting fast enough but it'll it'll catch up eventually uh, yeah, and I just put a trash can down so that I could get rid of the tree sap that was holding this up. I'm in the process of making just a handful more of these signalum. Uh, these signalum cell frames, which are required for all of the advanced rocketry machines. Signalium. This, and then let me put these back into the system. And how many? I can make all 24. Cool. I made 24. Uh, from what I had at the base level when it came to the uh, Empower. It was where everything started. Uh, and then we just need to go to in, in, to the induction smelter with the blocks now. Uh, so let's grab its 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If I did my math right, probably not. <laughs> okay, let's see. It was the induction smelter. And here we will put these guys in and tick accelerate to make this go faster. There's one. Two. Three. Let's see if they stack. Yeah, they stack. Get these guys knocked out. I can't wait till I have these on solid automation. There goes the tick accelerate. So now I need a lot more redstone. Yeah, I'll have to make some more redstone, but this will be good to start off with. Almost there. And I have uh, a, a ridiculous amount of redstone piled up in ore form, uh, but I don't need to mess with that right now. I have, I think, 24 structure panels ready, and now these can make more structure panels, hopefully, uh, unless... Uh, Unless I run out of the DU plating, the uh, nuclear craft plating. Let's see. Structure panels. I can make 12 more, so I need more elite plating. So let's grab the 30. These. So we have 42 to work with today. Uh, I'm starting the advanced rocketry where... In advanced rocketry, I'll make the first machine first, which is the precision assembler. Okay, I need two glass. Two glass. We need the precision, itse uh, precision assembler itself, and then coils. Titanium coil, aluminum coil, iridium coil. Let's see, how much iridium have I made with the replicator? 194. So how many 
coils do we need for this machine? Because as soon as we get into space, we can mine iridium, and then it won't be a problem anymore. I'm not 100% sure what the, the, uh, what the iridium actually does. The coil, if that is power storage, because the motor is speed. So I'm not sure what the coil does. Let's see if it says anywhere in here what the coil does. Well, for this machine, uh, since it's it's an important machine, I'm going to make iridium coils. That's the best ones. The motors, I know I can't make iridium motors because it requires dilithium, I think. So we need two coils. Iridium coil. It really isn't that much. It's only 16 to make it. So maybe I'll make iridium coils for everything. But the motor... Yeah, the motor... If I go with the elite motor, it requires iridium plate, no problem. Titanium coil, no problem. Diamond gears, no problem. But dilithium crystals, which I don't have access to yet. Uh, they are in on the moon, which that's where we're going. So I'll make... See, that's speed of four. This is speed of two, and that's the next one down. So I'll go ahead and I'll make the enhanced motor. We need uh, two titanium rods. We need aluminum coils. Two aluminum coils. Let's see, how many motors do we need? Just one, right? We need two motors. So we need two more of the aluminum coils. So we'll also need four of the titanium rods, so two of the titanium ingots need to go through, which I'll make a crafting recipe for it right now. Uh, so we need titanium, and we'll go here to the rods, and we'll plus this in here without the press mold. We need out of the rods, there we go, and we need four. And then we also need the plates, which the plates can also be done with the metal press. So let's do a plate pattern right here. I'm, I'm, I really hope I'm not going to run out of the, the secondary slots as well. That's kind of frustrating. Motor. So plates, motor. I guess I could use the electric. Is the electric motor? No, that's nuclear craft. Okay. So we need six in total of these. Six of these. When those six come in, we can make the elite motor. Oh no, not the elite motor. That's the one I wish I could make, the enhanced motor. Cool. So we can make two of those. Oh, the coils disappeared down here. I guess they got rid of the image for it. There we go. Two of those motors, we need the precision assembler. Oh, always typing in the wrong one. The precision assembler, okay. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. We need a furnace, we need steel gears. So let's see, what do we have? Okay, we're missing the control circuit. Can we make that? We need, we're missing the sides, which are bioplastic, which is sugarcane. Sugar cane, we got 13. Hmm. This is one thing I really should have set up. I need to make a cloche growing sugar. I really do. 
So we need to put that in the the manufactory from nuclear craft. Give you two. Here we go, 11. Hopefully that's enough for us to make everything we need to make. The precision assembler. Elite control circuits. Let's see, how many should we make? Like, let's make 20. We're missing, oh, the redstone, of course. So let's take care of that real quick. Let's see, we need the wand to make things easier. And there's a the bummer, like sometimes the redstone, it makes, when it lights up, it doesn't register as being connected redstone. Now what am I doing with the jetpack? I have created a flight now from yesterday. So the ones that light up aren't showing as redstone. Yeah. I can do this really quick and then bust out my fortune pick. Get some redstone going. Put that back in the inventory. Let's see. Let's see if that's enough to get this craft going for the elite. Need 20. Get you going. 20 of those. And let's get this green one done. And we need a yellow. Ooh, that one looks a little bit more annoying. Let's see what we got. We really not have any of the printed logic circuits? These are bronze and redstone. Bronze. And redstone. Now that we have it. We have a good amount again, and it was in here, and let's, it'll just be quicker for me to click it. Is it not that? Oh, three in the middle. Speed you up, make three, and then circuit, we need the yellow one, and we need printed logic circuits. We need at least six, so let's make ten. back in the inventory, you back in the inventory, bioplastic can go in the inventory. One, two. Yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. As soon as we get to space and we build our space station, as soon as that 5x5 five five goes up, I'm gonna start working on making a new base. The entire space station is gonna be the new base. With the warp core, it's going to move from planet to planet, 
and it's going to have the new ME system that I'm going to debut on the space station, and everything that I need, I'm going to take up into space one at a time and hook it up to fully automate everything, because this is my first time working with automation, so I'm really glad that uh, I'm learning quick enough to be able to put this into play, because I'm pretty sure that by next series, if I do another series, uh, this is all going to be uh, done uh, like way, way sooner. Like I, instead of fumbling around for a little bit and then doing, you know, and learning, 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 I'm going to start off with knowing exactly what I'm going to do. Precision assembler. What are we missing? We're missing the top two. Is the user interface. Oh, that's... I was about to say that's nice and easy enough. It's not doing the glass. Is it a special glass? No, it's just glass pane. There we go. User interface. There we go. And then we need a redstone thingamajiggy. And should that be it? No, we're still missing the bottom one, which is a steel gear. Let me set that one on autocraft as well. Steel gear in here, with that, without that. Oh, I'm out of patterns. Three patterns, and let's make another 50. And then steel gear. No, wait, yeah, it's already up. And let's put you where you belong, with your other gear friends. And then we need one steel gear, but let's make ten. Sweet. And then we need the precision assembler. Oh, did I leave it in the machine? <laughs> the wireless terminal. I left it in the wireless terminal. There we go. Precision assembler. And then we also need 24 machine structures. I don't know if it really needs 24. With the two motors. Oh no, Is the mo are the motors not going to count? Elite motor, motor, advanced motor. Because the graphic is not there. Not enchants, enhanced. Yeah. I don't know why this one's not working. Is it because the that's not showing up? That would be a real bummer. Power input, input hatch, output hatch. So let's do those. power input plug for these okay cool power input power output oh okay wait is there really that's the only craft okay you just turn a power input into a power output okay so we need another power input now Wait a second, what am I misreading? Power input and then input hatch, output hatch. Tap power output. Can you go backwards? Power input, cool. Okay, so input hatch and output hatch. An input, input hatch, cool. And an output hatch. Cool. That should be everything. Let's grab the hollow projector. Got two from quest rewards. We didn't have to build this one, fortunately. Cool. 
and I'm probably just going to put it in the new mechanism section because that's where all our power is and cable management and all that jazz. And I'm kind of fond of this downstairs thing. So yeah, I'll put it over here. That would make sense, right? Let's shift right click. Okay, we are making the... Past it. Precision assembling machine. Okay, there we go. And then... How do you want me to do this? Okay. I right-clicked it on the ground. Okay, the precision assembler here. I can move this guy back one. good. Let's see what, that's two from the elevator, two from the elevator, that's symmetrical. That's great, yeah, I like it like this. So in the first slot goes the precision assembler, and then we have, it can be input, output can be in the front, or can, does that mean it can be any of it, right? Coils go in the middle, motors go in the back, and then these can be input-output. If I put the input and the output next to each other, then I only need one cable. And I'm pretty sure the rest is going to need to be... Oh, I didn't get the quest dinger for it because of the motor. Maybe when I make motors for the second machine, it'll count for that one. So I need the coils. Where are my iridium coils? I made them. Did I throw them into the... Into the... I did. I threw them in here. Whoops. Okay, so... Coil coil, and then motor. See, it shows them, it just doesn't show. Motor, motor, and I'll do... I'll put power on the closer end, the power here, and I'll do the... Ooh, creative flight is new to me. I'll put the input hatch here, and I'll put the output hatch here, in the front. And then the rest are machine casings. One, two, three, four. Oof, that's brutal. Three, four, five, Are you not working? To be in the exact block. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, it really does need this much. Whoops. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, wow, 23, 24, wow, I did not know, I built this in Continuum, I did not know that it was that many machine frames, but then machine frames in Continuum were not this expensive, and then the glass in the front, and boom shakalaka! Love it. Let me turn off F1 and get a good look at it. Ooh, I love it. It looks great. So let's run some power. Let's see. Can I run it down? Fix my issue from last time. 
my goofy self totally forgot that I needed to plug in the the uh, metallurgic fabricator. Talk about amateur, right? Let's knock these out. And then I can grab my ender cable. There we go, ender energy. And let's plug this bad boy in. Power input down here, right here. Nice. And run you along the ground so that you're nice and hidden. Cool. Now, do you have power? You do have power, and let me turn you on. Sweet. Precision assembling machine. And then I can put uh, just the slabs down on the top. It's another benefit of using slabs. And then I can get conduit facades later on. That looks nice. I like it. The The big bummer, really, is uh, since it won't read those motors that I made, uh, it won't give me the dinger, which I need to go to basic circuits. So let's jump straight into the cutting machine, and then I'll make the motor that is... Uh, oh, let's see. It's going to be a bummer if I have to make... There's one, only one motor in this one. What's the other machine? Is the crystallizer. Oh, I can look at it. Crystallizer. And this crystallizer does not require a motor. That's, that's unfortunate. Motor. Yeah, the elite motor's out of reach. I guess I can just make... No, this one's not showing either. I guess I can just make two of these, since they're cheap. What am I missing? I'm missing steel rods. And I'm missing the... Copper coils. So let's make four copper coils. One and two. And will you give me the dinger with these, please? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's grab a loot chest. And then... Hmm, should I make another enhanced motor? Or should I just deal with it being slow for now? Because I'm going to replace the motors anyway. Yeah. Cutting machine. I love hearing that dinger. Cutting machine. I'll grab one of these. I'll throw you up. I'll throw you in, not throw you up. Bleh. Okay. Put the wand away. I'll put the time in a bottle away. I don't need that right now. Let's see what's in our loot chest. So whole... Oh, cool. Climbing gloves. Slime cube. Wheat. What is that? Block cutting machine. Cutting machine. Yeah, we need to make more of those goofy crystal or cir circuit things. What what was missing from this? I thought this was easy. Floral. Oh, lime green. Weird. Anything lime? We got lime shimmering mushrooms. Nope, I want you to go away. And then mortar. Mortar. Got, ooh, that's not looking good. Cutting machine. We'll make one more of you. Run out of the cheesy stuff. Steel gears. We need to make more of these. Good. Oh, I need to make more of those those circuits. So I also need to make more logic circuit. Let's make ten. 
and I need to make more of these, which are more bronze and uh, redstone. So let's grab bronze and redstone. Just in case the machine, when we go there, uh, doesn't have enough mechanism. Right here, we'll put these in. And let's give you a boost. Oh, I got rid of the time in a bottle. There we go. And that's enough. Ten is good. So let's pull this out. We can get rid of this apple. I'm going to put that back. We can put this here. Circuit. Grab these two. Cool. Got one of those. Cutting. Cutting machine. The machine. Nice. And. Saw blade assembly. Saw blade assembly. I'm pretty sure I don't have this iron saw blade in the middle. Saw blade assembly. Cool beans. This is going a lot smoother than I was hoping. Having only an hour. Oh, see, it counted the input and the output hatch, so I need to make those again before I forget. Oh, so did it give me the dinger? It got. Yeah, it did. Totally. Uh, I only have an hour to play. I was totally expecting only to make one of these machines. Which I'm hoping is not too annoying for my episodes, being one machine at a time. But, uh, I'm having fun. Power input. And input hatch, output hatch. Input. We need a power input. We need an input hatch. We need a power input plug, which requires another four of these. Cool. And we need an output hatch. The output hatch. There we go. I'm running out of these structure frames really fast. I'm going to need to make a lot more of them off camera. And then when we get to space, I can put them on autocraft. Hopefully I can get that to work. I still need to learn how to do the recipes that require buckets of fluids. Uh, new mechanism. Let's put this back down here as well. Nice. Okay, so we got one machine here. And let's see. We are now making the cutting machine. So shift right click cutting machine. And then let's see how big is it. It is a two by three. Can I fit that back here? It's a two by three. Would that be cramped? Nah. There. Oh, it'll destroy the light source back there, but that shouldn't be a problem. Two by three. Does it look nice over here though? It actually kind of fits well in this corner. I like that. And it's a simple machine, so the, the cutting machine goes in the middle. Right there. And then we can do input-output in the front. Is that okay? It has to be power in the back. Power, IC2, creative power, power, yeah, power has to be in the back. So that solves our problem. And then, yeah, input-output. Does it let you choose which? No. Input has to be on the left. Input and output. And I'm glad this, this machine is a little bit more simple. The motor, which is going to be slow, but I'm going to upgrade them anyways. And the saw assembly. Right there. And do you form? Yeah, cool. So I need to run power. Uh, there. Let's see. Power from here. There we 
go. And then power. Nice and neat. There we go. And let's get some slabs down. Right there and there. Yeah. Here you go. Looking sweet. Looking sweet. I like it. Cool. So that's the block cutting machine. And then let's turn you on as well. You got power. Neat. Let's grab the loot chest. And God, they're giving me so many of these enders. These diamantine crystals, though, these I'm very happy about because that's a pain in the butt to make. Music discs, too. Uh, I haven't found any outside dungeon loot, which uh, I think music discs have to be used in the ultimate crafting at the end, which is kind of a bummer because I like collecting the records. Uh, let's see, iridium shards, that's always good. Uh, let's put this stuff in, and it's too bad with the wireless terminal, I can't hold down shift and put all of these in, I have to click each individual one. Let's see, wooden gear, and another ender, nether wart. Let's put the slabs back. Cool, and let's see, we have one more machine in this grid, because the arc electric arc furnace is not required. It's not attached anywhere, so it's not required to be made. Uh, we need to make the crystallizer. Let's see if we can do that with the structure frames that we have left. Is it two L's? Yes, it is. Crystallizer. And we, yeah, we ran into, <laughs> unbelievable, we ran into uh, green. Lime green is what's gated, What what's stopping us right now. Let me see if there's anything else that I can turn into lime green. Lime colored honey drop. Let's see if I can. That's floral lime. Lime dye is. Okay, cactus. I might have cactus. I do have cactus. Lucky. Double L. Crystallizer. We'll make another one of these. And. We need more of these. Eh, okay, good. And yeah, more of these. Geez. Okay, so I need even more bronze. Two, six more bronze. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go. Mechanism. Get these guys going. Can't wait to have these on automate. I have to build the uh, advanced carpenter for that one. Let's see, did I leave it in the wireless system? I did. There and there, and there. And crystal. Crystallizer. We're missing the bottom two. It's a repeater. Two repeaters. There we go. Crystallizer. Nice. Does that say crystalline? I like when the advancements goes off and it's the big purple epic ones that I wish I could turn that into like my follow alert. That'd be cool. Six quartz crucibles. Let me open it with instead of normal GI. G G J E I. I'll open it with the wireless terminal. We need quartz crucibles. Six of them which we need crucibles first, okay, out of iron. Six. Six. We need detect, thank you. More copper coils, so I'll make two more iridium coils since I have it. Nice, got the dinger early. Uh, iridium. And we'll make two more iridium coils, because I've been replicating them with UU Matter. 
two of these. And let's do our normal song and dance with power input plugs, right? Yep, power input, input, output. And that requires three structure frames and we still have enough, cool. Input. We got an input hatch and we need a power input plug. We need another four of these there and power input and then output where is it power output no item output there we go output input power nice so yeah we knocked out three of the machines already that's really cool Ooh. Really need to get rid of this jetpack since uh, we got angel rings last night. Let's see. And I'll move these machines over to this side. Now we're working with the double L crystallizer. There we go. See how big this bad boy is. One block, right? No. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. Hardest thing is going to be like making them look pretty if only minecraft could put things at an angle the machines i mean if the machines could go on an angle that'd be really sweet uh is this how far away is this from the wall if i push it back one from the wall that's enough space in between for it not to look silly nope right here one from the wall and enough space in between for it to not look cramped. Yeah, I like it. Crystallizer in the middle. There, and then I'm, pr I'm pretty sure output hatch on the left. What is this? I'm gonna try doing the input hatch on over here and see if it'll let me complete it anyway. We need power in the back. And we need the super cool coils on the sides so it's cool some of these machines I'm not gonna have to upgrade only the ones with motors because uh, I'm not sure like I'm pretty sure the mod pack creator yeah it doesn't want me to do that it needs to switch I'm pretty sure the mod pack creator knew that uh, people were going to get iridium from uh, dungeon loot and replicate it in IC2 because it seems like pack wise that you're not supposed to get iridium until you start uh, finishing up uh, the uh, space you know like it's on a different planet for a reason did I just put it on no output hatch input hatch you don't like that I thought that was exactly what you wanted let's see Input hatch, output hatch, crystallizer, input hatch, output hatch, crystallizer, coil, coil, power. Output hatch, input hatch, crystallizer, why you no work? Don't be difficult, buddy. Let's see. Let me take it all apart and then put it back together and see if it works then. It's being difficult. I'll put the crystallizer here. Three away. And that's... Yeah, I need to put it back one more. There, is yeah. Yep. And then three away. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I'll put it. The input hatch here. You wanted the output hatch here. You wanted the power in the back. Right there. Oh. Do I have to put the? I forgot to raise the level. That's what it was. 
So I need to... Because the machine previously didn't need it. No, I have to put it down over here. Go on the ground. The previous machine was one level. This one is two. And I'm pretty sure it just needs the cauldrons all on top. That's it, yeah. So I just forgot to put the cauldrons on top. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, and now you should work, right? And let's get rid of this in the sky. Go away, go away, go away. Let's put you up high, up there. Just go away for now. Hopefully, like, I know I can break them, which is kind of cheesy. Go away. It should like they should let you just right click it. <laughs> you know, right click the hollow and make it turn off. Cool. So it turned on crystallizer. Neat. I like it. It looks cool. Input hatch, output hatch. Let's get power on this guy before I forget. One, two, three. Grab some iron ore while we're here. Not like we need it. The Void Ore Miner takes care of everything that we need. There and there. And power! Oh, did I equip the climbing gloves? Yeah, I did. Nope, don't want that. None of that, please. There, 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 there. Run an IO, Ender IO cable. <clears throat> Ender IO cable plugged in. Give me more slabs. And let's clean this up. Bam, bam, bam. Hide the iron. I wonder if this triggers anybody that I have or that I did not mine. <laughs> there. And. Nice, nice, nice. Are you running on power? Let's turn you on. Nice. Three machines. Equip. Click that. Grab another loot chest. Now we got basic circuits. Basic circuits. Cool. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You're cool. Get rid of you. I'm out. <laughs> cool. More music discs. I need to remember to tell Trin that we're getting music discs because she likes to play them. Which is pretty funny because the first music disc we put in uh, played an 8-bit version of a song and I joked about it uh, tagging copyright on YouTube. And she was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. It did. It copyrighted the 8-bit, they took the 8-bit song that played and they put it in Fallout 4. <laughs> so it got copyrighted by the Fallout 4 soundtrack, believe it or not. Crazy. Let's see what this basic circuit needs. Basic circuit requires the cutting machine with a basic circuit plate. Basic circuit plate requires silicone wafer, conductive iron grinding ball, and an apatine electron tube. All three of these I do not have. Uh, cutting machine with a silicone bo boil? Boule? Probably boule. Which is silicone. We can do that. So we let's... Let's grab some silicone and fire up our, uh, is it the crystallizer? I already forgot. Silicone. And what was the bull? Crystallizer, yeah. So let's, let's watch this guy go. Oh, yeah, no. 
the input is on the right. There we go. Neat. So let me turn off there. Cool. That's cool. That's really cool. I like machines in Minecraft that have animations attached to them. I think that looks really cool. I wonder what piece of this machine can be sped up. Maybe the crystallizer itself. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. We got the silicone bowls. And let's watch this machine. So input is over here. Let's not do... Well, yeah, we can do 64. We can always make silicone super easy. Cool, so let's watch this guy work. That's so cool. <laughs> These machines are so cool. Immersive Engineering is my favorite mod uh, from the, the aesthetic. I love Immersive Engineering. Uh, I love Mechanism because of everything Mechanism can do, but it's not as animated as uh, Industrial or uh, Immersive Engineering. But this, I love this. This is cool. Let's see if we, I'm pretty sure we can tick accelerate this guy too. Make it look really silly. <laughs> It'd be funny if they were so fast that they just fly off and hit, hit the side of the precision assembler. That'd be funny. Cool, so we got silicone wafers for days. And we need to make basic circuit. Basic circuit plate are the wafers. We need conductive iron grinding balls. I've never made this before. So they're made with conductive iron ingots, which is induction smelter, iron, and redstone. Let's go take care of that. So we need to go to the induction. Piggy. Uh, we need iron and redstone. Redstone, iron. Boop, 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 boop. Boop boop. Nice. I'll put you back because I'll come back to this. And we also need. So, what was it? It was like this, right? <laughs> Basic circuit. Yeah, it's a cross. Okay, we'll make 24 for now. And apatine electron tubes. Thermionic fabricator. This is new to me. I will need to grab sand. And appetite, we finally have a use for it. Let's go downstairs one. This machine has my sand and my glass in it. Cool. And we need this guy. Let's get some sand going, and we need to grab redstone and appet appetite. Hope you have one. Is it appetite? Yeah, it's appetite. <laughs> Thought my joke was gonna be extra cringy. Redstone. And redstone, and go in here please. Oh, this didn't go in. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, did I kill the power? No, disabled by redstone. Oh my god, have I had it on this entire time? Of course. Let's just make these bad boys while I have... Don't need this stuff. Let's go. And let's tick accelerate this guy. There we 
go. And I'll just leave this in here. I'll take the sand out. And I'll shut you off this time. Thank you. Let's put this, this. No, I need to keep these. We'll put the sand and the glass away. Oh, and where did I put those rolling bowls? Grinding bowls, sorry. <laughs> Basic. Circuit. Oh. Just make 24 more. It doesn't matter. Go back to the new mechanism. If I can hit the elevator, then the, it was the precision assembler. And we'll knock this out like this. Yeah? Nice. Let's check this machine out. That's so cool. <laughs> I like this a lot. Can you tell? Let's tick accelerate you to make you look ridiculous. Is it going so fast that you can't keep up? Yeah, I run, ran out of rolling ball. Nice. Up. Oh, it assembles faster than I can click. There we go. Did I make enough? Are they all stuck in the output hatch now? Yeah, basic circuit plates. Oh, let me check the quest book, make sure that I'm not doing anything silly. Yeah, basic circuit. And you just want to be run through the cutting machine now. I wonder if I'm even gonna need this much. I'll fire you through again, right? No, what am I doing? Input hatch. Not into the direct. Directly in the middle. Oh cool, it makes a different animation. See, it's got the circuit board going through. So now it cuts into fours. Pew pew! Firing through. Oh. Oh, output hatch is probably full. Yeah, there we go. Brum, brum, brum. Quest ding er. Dang. Getting too many of these now, it seems, huh? This will all go be going to be automated, and when it's automated, we're not going to be looking at the machines anymore, even though they're so cool. All right, so let's take that quest and claim it. Cool, next one, electrolyzer, advanced circuits, chemical reactor. Those are gonna be the next ones. We'll save those up for next episode. One, two, three, four, five, and probably six to make the electrolyzer. Chemical reactor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, wow, okay. So yeah, it needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the electrolyzer. So I'm gonna have to make a make some structure panels to prepare for this advanced circuits. Hopefully it's gonna be not a pain in the butt. Whoop. Let's see, advanced circuits require advanced circuit plates, which require more of these intricate redstone alloy. Redstone alloy is redstone and silicone. Okay, that's easy. We need to make more of these intricate circuit boards. Oh, it's these, they're a pain in the butt. I'm gonna try and see if the replicator can, or the scanner can scan this, but probably not, or else it'll make the advanced carpenter kind of pointless. But oh, we need a lot of those. Well, we definitely need one to make one. And that'll make four, I think. It'll make four, yeah. I wonder what these are basic plates are used for. Altitude controller. Oh, so these plates that we just made are probably gonna be for the next tier of machines. Satellite builder. Mass detector looks like Christmas lights. Oh, the ID chips, yeah. 
Electrolyzer, yeah. So the next machine requires two of them, and then more of these. So I'm gonna, I'm probably going to make a uh, a cloche and put some sugarcane in it uh, for uh, so that this bioplastic isn't going to make us get stuck tomorrow when we continue with uh, advanced rocketry. So let's open up this chest and tin. Mana steel, more of these machine upgrades. Cool, mystery wrapped in a tin foil. Too bad there's no like nether stars and stuff like that. I want some epic dungeon loot. But yeah, three machines. Cool, three advanced rocketry machines down. Space, here we come. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and tune in tomorrow.